Welcome back to the show, and we're here at the NRB 2014 with Erin Cottrell. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Did I hack up your last name? That's Cottrell. Cottrell. Yeah. Cottrell. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the, about you, darlings. Uh, about myself? Yeah. Um, Where are you from? I am originally from New Jersey and grew up New outside Jersey of girl. Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. It's going to beat you up. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. Um, I went to school in North Carolina, okay. UNC, Tar Heels, and um, lived in New York. I've been an actress forever since I was six years old. I've seen your IMD, and it was a lot of shows on that. I'm like, <laughs> wow, I, I have a superstar coming to, <laughs> coming to us. And, and uh, yeah, so tell some of the highlights of some of the really interesting shows that you've been on well, let's see I think people normally recognize me from um, the Michael Landon jr. series love comes softly okay which is on the Hallmark Channel okay. um, so I did five of those films really the same I interviewed him last year oh, you at, did? At the ice he is so awesome he's great he's very quiet yes and it's like and, and I got into his mind asking him a lot of questions but yeah. go ahead, tell us some more you've been on the on those so I did that the love comes softly series I also did a remake of Little House on the Prairie for ABC uh, in 2005 and I played mom I played Caroline Engel Okay. In that. Um, so a lot of prairie, you know, yeah. kind of stuff. And then, um, gosh, just fantastic, you know, NCIS and Medium and Cold Case and numbers. So was it hard for you to break in or? or not really. I started, I was a theater Look at her, no, not really. <laughs> well, I mean, <clears throat> in this, everything is always, there's, there's going to be, you know, challenges with everything. Oh, absolutely. The business is the business. But I started as a theater actress and mm -hmm. loved it so much that, there's nothing else I really want to do, so continuing to do it, you know, knocking down doors is not really difficult if you know that's what you love. Yeah. So that's what it was. And I started doing Shakespeare and musicals when I was younger, and then I went on to soap operas. So I was okay. on All My Children for a while, <clears throat> and then uh, The Guiding Light. And then I moved to Los Angeles and just went, I was in Legally Blonde too, like okay. right when I moved there. So it helped. Wow. That, that, no, that's, <laughs> that's good because uh, a lot of people don't keep pursuing it. And yeah. And tell us about your faith. Uh, I am, uh, I feel like an incredibly spiritual, very connected to God person. That's a good thing. To say. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome on my show anytime. <laughs> Thank you. Um, no, I do. I feel tremendous presence, especially right now. I'm going to have a little girl in May, and okay. I just feel even more connected and um, tremendously blessed. Super, super happy wow. right now. This is the yeah. first? It's my very first child. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. And I've played pregnant or given birth on camera six times. Like NCIS, I gave hey, birth. Hey, she's prepared. <laughs> Kind of. I hope I do it right on camera because, you know, we'll see when I do it for real. Yeah, we'll you're see how say, well. This is nothing like the film. <laughs> this one hurts. Yeah. So. Oh, wow. So that, that, yeah. that's amazing. Now tell us how you, how you became a part of the identical. Uh, it, actually, because of the Love Comes Softly series that uh -huh. I did with Michael Landon Jr., the producers, uh, the Marcelinos, Yokanon and Jerry, and the director, Dustin, were fans of that series. Okay. And so they had watched it with their family, and they said, oh, this character of Jenny is just like the character of Missy LaHaye in the series. Okay. So we would really love for her to be a part of this. Now, Hollywood played a little game and said, oh, no, 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 we're going to find you this super famous person. It's going to be this and this and this. And after about a year of searching, none of those people were right. <laughs> and, and I didn't know this was happening. And so when I found out that they wanted me from the beginning, I felt unbelievably blessed. And, and it ended up working out in my favor. So mm. I was super grateful for the fact wow. they thought, look, this character's yours. And it ended up working out. Wow. So. And how was it to work with the Ray Liotta, Ashley Judd, Seth Green? It was fantastic. Absolutely <laughs> fantastic. It's, it That's was, like a dream come true for a lot of actors and actresses. Well, completely. And I didn't know until I went down to Nashville to shoot the movie who was playing my father-in-law, my mother-in-law, and one of our best friends, which is you know, Seth Green and Ray and Ashley. So I walked on to set. Oh my gosh, you're playing these people. Fantastic. It was just news. <laughs> so you didn't know at all? You just walked no. in and seen them? No, I got cast and flew down here about five days later. And then it was then that they said, oh, these are the people playing all the other parts. So it was a genius surprise. <laughs> and I love them. And Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. So th that's amazing. And so tell us about your part and your role that you do. So my role, uh, I play Jenny O'Brien, who mm -hmm. is the girlfriend and then wife of uh, Blake Rain as the actor, but of uh, Ryan Wade. And I'm also the narrator of the whole film. So you hear my voice before you meet me. Okay. And so it's all from my perspective. And a lot of it is I'm the storyteller. So throughout it, I'm kind of observing and I'm watching and I'm the consummate unconditional support and love 
in the film. Yeah. I just support my husband throughout it. Wow. So when I read the script, I thought, this is brilliant. This is a real marriage. This is what real love is. Mm. It's not about ownership. It's not about, you're mine and you need to stay here with me and fulfill my needs. Mm. It's, I want what's best for you and fulfills your heart. Mm. So that's what she does. That's, that's amazing. And how long was the shoot for you? Uh, only six weeks for oh, me. That's pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah, it was nice, but it was... It was all throughout, and then another, you know, eight months in the studio doing all the voiceover mm -hmm. work. So we carried over, and I would see it in bits and pieces and get a little taste of what it was going to look like. <laughs> so. so you've been highly anticipating this release? For uh, over a year. Yeah, we've been working on this for a long time, and I see it for the first time for myself tomorrow. So oh, really? I haven't even have, seen it. I wish I could go. I have, like, interviews. I should have, ah. like, scheduled them earlier, but yeah, 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 yeah. I have interviews till like, 5.30 or something. I know it starts from 4 to 6. 4 to 6 tomorrow. Wow, yeah. that's that's gonna be that's gonna be awesome though. I'm very excited. My husband came with me. He gets to see it. Oh wow! With me, so. So where are you originally? Where are you from now? Where do you go? Where do you stay? At? Los Angeles. Okay, well, obviously you're in the <laughs> in the business. You have to be. <laughs> yeah. And any other parts you've been doing ever since then? Um, yeah, I actually shot a short film with Ed Asner. Okay. Um, that is coming out next summer. Um, called Pacific Edge. So it's he and I. And actually, in the movie, I find out I'm pregnant and. I found out I'm pregnant while I was shooting that oh. movie. So when you see it, it's very real. Oh what my I'm goodness! <laughs> yes, see, yeah. you could be like bringing things into existence. I know. My husband was like, "Wow, we got to really look at the parts you play." <laughs> I know. Right? Let's see. Well, we got to be millionaires here. Let's say you to be a billionaire. <laughs> exactly. Just pick our scripts carefully. Yeah. Wow. So that's that's amazing. So um, the, it comes out in August. Yes. So you're gonna have some time. You're gonna have the baby. Yes. The baby's due. Uh, in May. In May. Exactly. Have some time, be with her, and then, you know, be able to do all the fun stuff, go to the premiere, and not <laughs> look like I'm smuggling <laughs> a basketball. Yeah. It's okay. You look beautiful. Oh, it's, thank it's, you. It's fine. Uh, you. Give some advice to some of the, because you are very experienced, and you have gone through a lot to get to where you're at. Mm. And just give some advice to, to them, inspiring actresses and actors out there that, that want to do this, and yeah. they just don't know where to start and then they, 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 they may be believers they may not be believers who knows mm -hmm. uh, I honestly feel like and I actually teach teenagers I teach um, dance and on-camera acting for kids so I love to give advice about this I think it's really about finding out why you want to do it and if you really really love it and it's deep in your heart nothing's gonna stop you get as educated as possible go to college major in theater or performance voice, you know, singing if that's what you want, but never stop learning and never take it personally when someone says no to a job. Because what I've found is when I try to plan it, it never works out as well as it does when I just give it up <laughs> to God when it happens. The best case scenario always presents itself. Mm. So it's really kind of letting go and having faith that the right thing mm. will show up. Now, how long have you been following the Lord? Since you're a child or? Um, I feel like my relationship has been more solidified in the last, I don't know, six or seven years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just closer. You seem yeah. like you're really in love with the Lord. I can sense that. Yes, yes. I feel, I feel very close and very guided. I just feel like Amen. there's a lot of trust and faith. Yeah. So how is it to have faith mm -hmm. and to be in the business you're in? Is, is it hard sometimes to do some roles or do you just not do them? Or? It's an, I've never turned anything down. I'm not a... Uh, I feel like there's so much that's relative and about perspective in our world. Mm -hmm. And to say that one thing is not valid over the other, I don't think that's fair. Okay. Because I feel like we really need to be inclusive of every experience to really understand and have empathy. I'm, I'm really rooted in unconditionally loving people and, and being compassionate. Yep. So that's kind of at the core of what I believe. Okay. Um, so I've, you know, I've played heroin addicts and then I've played very faithful <laughs> women on the prairie, you know, so I don't, I don't feel like one is more valid than the other, but to find that we all go through the same struggles. Absolutely. And we all have the same challenges and, and that brings this universal love and understanding to one another and I think that's really important so mm. that's amazing it's amen it is <laughs> that's good though <laughs> hey give them a website or whatever you can give your your website for the movie their website for them to follow you so it's absolutely up to you. well there's uh, the identical movie.com is for this movie um, you can find me at Aaron um, or Aaron underscore Cottrell at Twitter 
Amen. God bless you. Thank, Thank you for being you. a part of the show. Thank and we really so enjoyed, enjoyed having you on here. Thank you. And you're it was a blessing. my pleasure. And we'll be back with another great guest.